Indeed, there is a possibility, methane pyrolysis. Here, methane, CH4, the main component of natural gas, is split into its components carbon and hydrogen. The specific energy requirement is around 45,000 kilojoules for one kilogram of hydrogen. Only one fourth compared to water electrolysis. Furthermore, as can be seen from the reaction equation, the carbon from methane is not converted to CO2, but instead to solid carbon. A team of researchers managed by the Montana Universität Leoben currently works on the further development of various methane pyrolysis technologies and thereby tries to enable the launch of this bridging technology at industrial scale in the near future. Different processes will be studied with regard to stability, scalability, quality of the hydrogen product, required resources and the type and quality of resulting carbon in particular. In order to generate an extensive dataset for future decision making regarding the most promising technology route for the pyrolysis, a number of lab experiments with parameter studies will be performed. It is rather clear what hydrogen can be used for, but what can you do with carbon? Obviously, three kilograms of carbon are produced for each kilogram of hydrogen. Exactly. That is quite an amount to handle. In the end, it comes down to the structure of the carbon. It can substantially vary depending on pyrolysis technology and process parameters. For example, black carbon can form, which can be used for the production of tires. Another possibility is the formation of graphite, which can be used for the production of electrodes and batteries, or in refractories for high temperature applications. Furthermore, the formation of graphene, a two-dimensional carbon structure, is possible. It can, for example, be applied for supercapacitors in the electronics industry. Do these products allow for the overall utilization of the vast amounts of carbon produced? No, these applications cannot handle all that carbon. In fact, it will be necessary to valorize the carbon and deliver it to a useful application. Hence, not only a sustainable production without the generation of waste is guaranteed, but also a benefit will be generated by the carbon product. Therefore, additionally, the hydrogen production costs can be reduced. That makes sense, but which sustainable applications allow for the overall valorization of high quantities of carbon? This is another important part the researchers at the Montana Universität Leoben focus on. More specifically, they try to tinker the pyrolysis technology and parameters to result in a marketable mix of different carbon products. A possible future application is the storage of hydrogen in nanoporous functionalized carbon structures. An application for future mobility needs. Another big field of application is the construction industry. Here, carbon can for example be applied in the form of carbon fiber mats, replacing traditional steel reinforcement. It can therefore contribute to more sustainable construction, not only reducing the amount of concrete, but also making constructions more durable and additionally increase lifetime and or reduce maintenance. The biggest field of application is most likely agriculture. Even today, biojar is partly used there. It is a carbon product manufactured from biomass by pyrolysis. However, that product is only available at high cost presently. The structure of carbon from methane pyrolysis is similar to the structure of biochar. The high apparent porosity and inner surface area, a few hundred square meters per gram, can not only store water and nutrient efficiently, but also act as a favorable habitat for microorganisms. When applied in soil, the inoculated carbon can assist to store water and nutrient, thus making it readily available for the plants when needed. Therefore, plant growth can be promoted and generation of hummus is facilitated. Furthermore, the water absorption of the soils can be enhanced and thereby mitigate the risk of flooding in case of heavy rainfall. The application of carbon in agriculture and composting can also reduce nitrogen emissions and hence reduce their contribution to greenhouse gas emissions. In order to ensure an application of the carbon product from methane pyrolysis in vast amounts, the researchers try to find favorable process parameters that result in the production of carbon with proper product specifications similar to those of biochar. Thus, a comprehensive and sustainable valorization of the carbon product will be achieved. Hydrogen and carbon are two essential resources for future climate-neutral technologies. Their demand will rise strongly within the next decades. 
The project Sustainable Hydrogen and Carbon Supply and Energy Mining investigates and further develops methane pyrolysis for the production of hydrogen and carbon. It is financed by RAC Austria, First Alpine, Primatils Technologies Austria, Wien Energy and Montana Universität Leoben.